Hello, my beautiful bosses, and welcome to the second episode in our Design with Canva series. So today, we are going to design another popular demand by most of my clients, how to design a bomb business card in Canva. Right, so let's begin. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color to black. And whatever you do, always ensure that it matches with your brand as you are trying to build brand cohesion. Then we're going to add some glitz and glam, as I always like to do. So we're going to add one at the top and one at the bottom here to even out the design. Then we are going to add a logo right in the center. And to finish up the front of the card, we are going to go on and find a nice little background image that we would like to use. We stretch to the liking. And then we are going to go ahead and bring down the opacity as well. And that's done. Now we're going to move on to the fun part, which is the back of the card. And what we're going to do for this is that we're going to change the color to pink. Again, to match our brand color. And circle that one. And after we've done that, we're going to go back to our uploads panel and we're going to start bringing in our design elements. So I'm going to bring in my image here. This beauty is in almost all of my designs. Uh, she is somewhat the face of our brand for Elite Boss Club. Then we're going to add some of this here in the back. And most of these steps are repetitive. We're going to duplicate that. And we're going to just align it properly to fit the back of the element the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add our text that we would have at the top here and we are going to say shop the plug we are going to then say hair extensions how about some Lash extensions. Let's resize this so that it fits properly. Let's say about eight. There we go. Lash extensions. Let's add some sleep where windows. Jewelry plus more, and we are going to make this all caps. Let's highlight everything, and there we go. And then we're going to adjust the size to fit where we need it to fit. That's a little bit smaller. There we go. Then we are going to add our contact information. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back in our uploads panel. We are going to have this glitter square. We are going to resize. And we're going to move over to this section. Then we're going to go back into our elements panel. Let's get out of this. I'm sorry, I was doing something before. And we are going to find our square, our square shape. 
rectangle or square shape. And then we are going to adjust it right above here. And we are going to change the color to black. In Canva, duplication is your best friend. So we are going to do this about two more times. That's one. And then one more. That is two. Be sure that these pieces are even. Then we are going to add our icons, which is the end of the Let's resize it. So starting off with Instagram, then we are going to move to Twitter. Let's use this one. I'm going to resize it. Make sure that everything is of equal proportions. Then we are going to use the website. And we are going to choose the shutter. And we are going to resize it there. For brand cohesion, I'm going to make everything the same color. We're going to use white, and then we're going to now add in our text. So our Instagram is Elite Boss Plug. Be sure to follow us. We're going to make this capital, and we're going to make this bold. Okay, now we have to select everything. And then we're going to move that there. And then just accordingly. Once again, we're going to use our best friend, the duplication tool, which makes life much easier. Our Twitter is plug elite. And then we are going to add our website, which is going to be EliteBossBlog.com. And we are going to adjust that accordingly to fit within the square. And we are almost done. We are going to bring down the opacity of this bad boy right here. And then we are going to add our logo once more. Now because my logo at the moment is only of one color, we are going to do some edits in Canva. So since we have that there, now we're going to add a text to highlight elite. Well, we're going to make that white. And we are going to match the font. We are going to resize. And then we are going to adjust as close as we possibly can. That worked. Then we're going to move this down a bit. And we are going to add boss plug. Resize and align where it's supposed to be. We're going to make it smaller. We're going to make it bold and we're going to make it bigger. It's bold. How about I make the size at about five? This one has that did not change, but that's what I'm going to 
And there you have it. We have just recreated our own personal business card inside of Canva. And as usual, you adjust until you feel comfortable with what it is that you're doing. But I am simply in love with this solution. Please be sure to like and subscribe, share, feel free to comment down below as to what it is that you would like us to teach you in our next Canva series. And thank you guys once again for watching.